Helen the penguin, though classed as a bird, had useless wings that made flying absurd. She looked to the sky with a tear in her eye and wished upon wish that one day she could fly. The starling, the parrot, and a big cockatoo flew around overhead like a penguin can't do. Her parents were worried. The girl was obsessed with flying up high, a bird like the rest. Her mother said, Helen, you can't have your wish. Act like a penguin and go catch a fish. So that's what she did and caught 17. Then swapped them at once for a blue trampoline. She bounced and she bounced up into the sky to join all the birds and pretend she could fly. But her visits were short, and the moments soon passed, for a bounce is a bounce, and a bounce doesn't last. But now she was filled with a need for the air, so she climbed up a tree as high as she dare. With the wind in her face, she rocked to and fro. Then Helen called out to the crowd down below, a penguin's a bird, and all birds can fly. The crowd shouted back, don't jump or you'll die. Her mom burst in tears. My daughter, I failed her. Talk her down, madam. Here, use my loud hailer. Darling, it's, it's mother. mother. Come, Come down, down from, from that, that tree. tree. It's, it's your, your birthday, birthday tomorrow, tomorrow with fish cake for tea. Ooh, Ooh, fish cake. Fish cake. In her heart, Helen knew that she couldn't fly. She hung her head low and climbed down from the sky. The starling, the parrot, and the big cockatoo felt sorry for Helen, but what could they do? They thought and they thought with all of their might, then they thought even more all day and all night. Then on her birthday, her friends had a plan. They threw Helen a party, like only friends can. All the birds came, and a walrus called Lou, who danced the can-can with the big cockatoo. When the dancing was over, came the day's main event. They gave Helen a present as big as a tent. The colorful paper was removed and brushed flat. Not one sheet was torn. Moms enjoy seeing that. Helen squealed, thank you. And everyone laughed. Guess what they bought her? A bright red aircraft. They dressed her in goggles that hid tears of joy. For the plane was a real one, it wasn't a toy. They bought her 10 lessons with a pilot named Rick who showed her the cockpit and where to be sick. She learned very quickly and soon passed her test. And now she can fly in the sky with the rest. She loops all the loops. What a wonderful sight. And she doesn't come down till day turns to night. So if you should see a red plane overhead, the pilot's no pilot, but a penguin instead.